of the ACP Sugar Group. It is an honor and a privilege for me to extend to Your Excellency, Honorable Prime Minister, and through you, to the people and government of Fiji, our deep appreciation for this solemn and traditional welcome ceremony. This welcome ceremony in the traditional Fijian style bears testimony to the high regard which the Fijian people pay to culture, tradition, values, and heritage. We also wish to thank you for hosting this important ministerial meeting on sugar for the fourth time, and that just a few months after the council meeting of the International Sugar Organization in June. This indeed demonstrates the importance which your country attaches to sugar issues. Let me also thank the Fijian authorities for the arrangements and facilities put in place to ensure a smooth and successful organization of this ACP Ministerial Conference on Sugar. We also highly appreciate the warm welcome and hospitality extended to us since our arrival in Fiji. Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, our 13th Ministerial Conference on Sugar is taking place at a crucial time and in a context where major changes are taking place in the international scene for the sugar sector posing serious challenges to our domestic sugar industry. The meeting is therefore opportune to make some serious reflections and exchange our views on, on, on the future outlook of the ACP sugar in an era characterized by a harsh competition. The conference will aim to address these issues in details, take stock of the latest developments and assess the likely implications of the end of the EU sugar quotas for ACP suppliers. It is also an opportunity for us in the spirit of unity and solidarity to give some thoughts on the future outlook of the ACP sugar in a quota-free regime and devise appropriate strategy for future action in order to ensure market stability and a fair level of remuneration for ACP sugar. Honorable Prime Minister, Excellencies, Ladies and gentlemen, we wish to take this opportunity to commend the bold and sustained efforts made by the government of Fiji under the wise and enlightened leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister to chart an ambitious and an all-inclusive economic and political agenda for Fiji. The adoption of a new constitution on the 6th September 2013 which enshrines fundamental principles such as an independent judiciary, a secular state, and a range of civil, political, and socio-economic rights, and paves the way for the holding of free and fair elections before the end of September 2014, and the strengthening of democracy is a significant step in the right direction. With this roadmap and the new constitution, we see every reason for the, for the international community to accompany the government of Fiji, and the Fijian population as they prepare to undertake these important changes. Let me reassure you, Honorable Prime Minister, of the unflinching support and solidarity of the ACP sugar family. Honorable Prime Minister, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, let me one, once again thank you, Honorable Prime Minister, for this memorable ceremony and for kindly agreeing to open our ministerial conference this morning. I thank you. Vinaka Vakalevu.